Ooh, what's good? My name is Axel, and today is the uh, Dark Souls 3 Let's Play. This is going to be very, very new player friendly. Uh, new player oriented, I should say. It's going to go into details about strategies, how to beat bosses, uh, where important items are. So if you are new and you just got the game, you don't know anything about the game, or if you've known about the game but are unsure where stuff is then you're gonna want to stick around uh, i will get all of the important items i think i know most of the items off of the top of my head uh, it won't go into npc quests so this isn't for you if you're going into that and yeah so starting off uh, we are at the character screen character's name is Nubay. uh as for class, this is the most important thing for the character uh, creation. If you're really new, stick with Knight. Knight is probably the easiest class to play. Uh, their physical shield is very good, and they start out with a straight sword, which is very easy to, uh, to learn. Uh, best class for new people. Um, if you want a heal spell, go Herald. Uh, Cleric also has the same thing. Cleric is a bit on the more damaged side than Herald, but they both have the the uh, the heal spell. If you want magic, go for Sorcerer or Pyromancer, that depends on you. Uh, and by magic, I mean like uh, offense-oriented magic. Uh, that being said, we are playing as the Thief because I want to make a luck build, bleed build, doesn't really matter. Um, As for Burial Gift, this is the second most important Part of the character creation life ring is really good all it does is just give you hp good for new people divine blessing it heals you to full however it is a consumable so you can only use it once and then it is gone forever uh hidden blessing is the same thing but that is for your magic bar so i wouldn't pick this up like ever black firebomb i would also recommend because it is very, very good against the first boss. Fire Gem, I wouldn't take it. Uh, Sovereign Lissol is decent. You can get extra souls, which means more levels, uh, or more items that you buy from the shop. Rusted Gold Coin is just item discovery. It's, it's okay. There's no real reason to pick it up if you're new. No real reason to pick it up, period. If you want to get real frisky, get the Cracked Red Eye Orb. This is how you invade other people's games. Uh, and Young White Branch is better off just to ignore it. That being said, we are going to get the Life Ring. And we will begin. Yes, I want to start with the Bendito. Or the Teeth. So this first area is pretty, pretty easy. There is one enemy that is uh, a high level, which means you might want to come back unless you're, again, feeling frisky and want to get good early on. Uh, right stick control camera, right bumper for regular attack. These are just the basic controls. Right trigger for strong attack. Uh, R stick down for lock on. It's pretty good. However, I don't recommend it for certain enemies because it gets out of control and it is a pain in the butt uh this is back step just tapping b moving in a direction and then tapping b is rolling that's where your iframes come in and you're gonna take zero damage if you time it right uh now if you hold b while moving then you start sprinting and this is the first item you should pick up soul of a deserted corpse that being said, this next item is the first important item that you should not miss at all in any way, shape, or form. So if you kill this guy, you can come over here and you can get the Ashen Estus Flask. So the Estus Flask, the orange one, heals your HP bar, which is up the top left, it's the red bar. The blue Estus Flask is your mana bar, which is the FP bar, the blue one in the top left. Pretty, uh, pretty decent. Behind an enemy, critical hit. This is considered a backstab. As you can see, it does quite a bit more damage than a normal uh, light attack. Uh, 
uh, parry, repel attack, and repost. Um, this guy, I don't recommend trying to parry. He's very difficult to parry. So just straight up kill him out, right? Uh, of stick and kick, you need to push forward on the movement key. Or your movement, uh, however you move. And light attack, you need to do it at the same time. Uh, you should practice this a little bit. It is quite difficult to get down. I want to sneak up and backstab this man. Ooh. Nice. The backstab window is pretty uh, pretty friendly. X is to use item. The item is the bottom tab that's switching between. Uh, right now we only have two items of note, so... Uh, Two-handing right weapon... So this is, if you have one weapon in each hand, and you try doing the weapon art, it will do the weapon art of the, of the left hand. Which for the shield is the parry. Now if we two hand it for the dagger, that is the weapon art. Uh, most weapon arts take FP to use. Um, if you're out of FP, you can still enact the command, but it won't be as strong. Nowhere near as strong. So in order to figure out what your weapon art is, you want to go to equipment. And then right here, in the middle column, you have the left column with all the squares. And you have the middle column with the item description. And then you have the right column with the stats. In the middle column, from top to bottom, it's bandit's knife, which is the name of the item. Dagger, which is the type of weapon it is. Slash slush, that is the damage type, and then quick step. Quick step is what you want to look at. That is the name of the weapon art, and the FP cost underneath it is how much it costs. Um, so if you go into it, you can go to this screen. This is how you would equip other items in this slot. But if you press at the bottom, it's, it has all the commands. It says show item info. You can press it, and then the last quote paragraph, end quote, it says kill, skill quick step. Uh, and that tells you what it does. That is a brief overview of what is going to go on. Kill these guys. Now this pathway, I will come to after we kill the boss. Uh, if you're new, I don't recommend going here. Not yet, at least. You're better off killing the boss first, going to Firelink Shrine, leveling up, and then coming back after you've used your souls. Because once you die, all of your souls stay on the ground in the area you die at. And uh, that's not fun. You can lose those souls if you die twice in a row without picking it up. So this is a bonfire. It restores your Estus. It restores your HP and FP once you sit at it. But it also respawns the enemies. All of the enemies in the area. So if we come down here... As you can see, the archer man is back alive yet again. So that being said, we're gonna we're gonna run up this way. So this is the new area. I recommend going this way and killing this guy first. You got a counter hit. Um, it's better to be aggressive against the weaker enemies like this because you can stagger them quite easily so press the L while jumping uh, while dashing that is the jump so dashing again is moving around and holding the dodge button down uh, for Xbox controls it is the B that's a fading soul that's just one of the souls that gives you souls uh, that being said, this item, you need to be able to jump. Uh, now, in Dark Souls, jumping is not... I missed a jump. Okay. Uh, we will come back to this item. <laughs> in in Dark Souls, jumping is not uh, used for vertical movement. It's used for horizontal movement over and a gap. We. That is a plunge attack. As long as you are falling and you spam... Uh, right bumper then you will do a lot of damage however fall damage is a thing so do be careful 
So right here, you have two guys. We're gonna lock onto this guy, fall off, and plunge attack him. There you go. And you can pick up the firebomb. Now, if you remember the kick, you can kick, guard break, and then you can repost them. And it does a lot of damage. Uh, there are a lot of enemies in this game that have shields. PvP, there are also shields. Oh, we got a backstab. Easy. PvP, there are also um, a lot of people that use shields. Okay, so we're back to the first area. Let me show you, this is where the bonfire is. We're not going to hit it yet because there is an item here that you need to get. There it is. Titanite shard. That is an upgrade material for normal... Uh, I guess normal uh, normal weapons. There it is. That's the word. So, we have one more enemy to fight after we rest at the bonfire. Unless you're full HP and full Estus, uh, then you don't need to rest. But if not, you're definitely going to want to come back to the bonfire. Uh, again, these guys respawn. You also want to take this pathway every time you want to run through this boss. Make sure you kill this guy. Make sure you kill this archer as well. Um, at least the first time you fight this boss. Because he can shoot into the arena. Alright, so that being said, before you actually fight the boss, go into your equipment. Go down here. Make sure you equip the fire bombs that you got. Um, if you choose the black fire bombs, make sure you pick those up as well. You don't have any other items, okay. Those are going to be they're gonna do a lot of damage in the second phase, which is very important. So this boss, I do recommend not killing him the first time. Or uh not killing him fast until you get a feel for how the parry works. This is probably the easiest enemy to parry, if, especially if you're not worried about your souls. Um, it's good to learn from him. His attacks are very consistent speed. They have consistent speed. They're very telegraphed. Uh, so that way you can indeed get the parry down. That being said, there is another thing you can do. So right here, you can't actually hit this guy yet until you remove the sword. But once you remove the sword, literally use all of your stamina. Do as much damage as you possibly can. Because he will take the damage even though his health bar doesn't show up right away. That I will show you. And also make sure you're two-handing. Because two-handing your... Weapon will do slightly more damage. There we go. So as you can see, he is missing some HP. There we go. Parry. Repost. That was a sloppy parry because we did take damage. That was a better parry. Alright. This stage you can hit him a little bit but he is going to transform and do that big sweeping attack so do be careful of that oh ouch I'm dead. Mm. that is quite unfortunate i tried to heal uh that being said it's whatever so we had like 408 souls uh when we died now when we respawn, we do have zero souls. Alright, so we take this pathway. This is the easiest, uh, easiest route to the boss. Make sure you plunge this guy. And uh, this guy you don't need to kill. You can just go straight into the fog wall. And since we died, he does indeed respawn, and you don't get that cheeky uh, first interaction. Make sure you run straight over to your souls. It looks like the uh, the green wispy thing. I do recommend parrying, learning how to parry. 
Oh, that's a shoulder bash. Alright, there we go. You want to press the parry button earlier? Then... Earlier than uh, the attack's gonna hit you, otherwise it will be late. Um, I'm not 100% sure if you can parry this guy in this phase. Oh, okay. Yeah, make sure you're good at dodging. I missed the firebomb. Ouch. Whoa! 7 damage. Um, I don't recommend trying to parry this guy <laughs> in this phase. He is quite a beefy man. He's gonna jump. There we go. I get hit. Yep. Okay, we're good. And we have no more heals. Ouch. Ooh, this will go a lot easier with the black fire bombs. Oh, are we gonna die again? I can't see what's happening. Yep, we died again. Also, be careful. If you don't think you can kill them, don't use your fire bombs right away. Because they are a consumable and they do disappear once you use them. Now, you can get more eventually, but uh, they will cost money or you're going to have to find them out in the world. Alright, where are the souls? Always get your souls first. Cannot stress that enough. Also, it does not matter where they hit you from uh, if you're trying to parry, as long as you parry at the correct time, uh, if you're out of fire bombs, I recommend circle strafing. Ouch, we got stuck in this hitbox. Hey! Don't hit me with your tail. Being locked on to him is very difficult when he's in this phase. It's very difficult when he's in that phase because he's big and he jumps all over the place. And it is a pain in the butt. Alright, that is the first boss. One of... I don't really know how uh, how many. There are quite a few in this game. Uh, and even more so if you have the DLC. Or both of the DLCs. So after you kill him, you want to come over here. You want to open up the door. I guess I should mention... Um, you see this glowing effect on me? Looks like fire. That that means that you are embered. Uh, it is good to be embered because you do get 30% uh, extra max HP. Now that's pretty good. But the downside is that it makes you susceptible to being invaded by other players. So if you don't want to uh, get invaded, either go into offline mode or start in offline mode, which is you go to options and you go towards the right side. This is launch settings, play offline. If you don't want to get invaded, then just hit the play offline button. Uh, that being said, there are NPC based invaders. Uh, some of them will invade you whether or not you are embered. Some of them will invade you only if you are embered. Uh, and a bunch of other things. So that's the doorway. 
Just come up the stairs, make sure you kill these two guys as fast as you can. Because you will get shot by this arrow boy right here. Ooh, missed. Alright, so from here, keep following the stairs and you want to go up in here. And uh, do this as soon as you can. Don't explore around because this is where you can spend your souls at. This is your home base hub, I guess. Uh, first things first, put the coiled sword in here. And then rest at the bonfire. And there you go. So in order to spend your souls, you need to talk to this Welcome lady. To the I to the uh, you don't need to talk to her. Um, just hit the level up button. And then level up what you want. Uh, I will go over this in the like 1.5 episode. Uh, if I'm going to call it that, I probably will. Uh, I'll go over the menus. I'll finish this small area up. Uh, I'll tell you what the stats are, how they work, uh, that kind of stuff. Stuff that isn't like the next area and going through it. This is for learning the menus because it can be quite imposing at first glance. Being said, I want strength, dexterity. Yes. Okay, so in the next episode, we will explore this area out. There's another pathway back in the last area that I talked about, uh, being super high level. Uh, we'll finish, clear this area out, uh, and then I'll explain all the NPCs, and then I'll explain how all the menus and pseudo controls work. So yeah, my name is Manaxital, this has been episode 1 of a uh, new player friendly guide. And uh, I will see you in the next one. You tune in next time. Now go to sleep.